everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be building a safe house in Minecraft. Now, I'm not just going to build any safe house. I am going to build a safe house that I do not need to leave ever. So I'm going to build one with everything in and I'm going to build walls and sort of like contraptions that will stop people from getting in my house. So there's a border between me and the other side so let's get straight into it now the first thing that came to mind when I thought of a safe house is big walls that I can bring down if I wanted to leave but put up to stop people from getting in so I'm gonna be building 20 by 20 across in a square of pistons to down and then once I've done that I'll show you the little towers that I'm gonna be building around the outside of each corner so this is what the walls and the side part oh wait forgot about this part so i've tried to make it as protected as i possibly can without making it look too ugly but i feel like the oak wood and the cobblestone go really well together now you're probably thinking like how is this safe at all but we have joined all of the cobblestone at the bottom up this one little switch and now nothing can get in I can't get out and nothing can get in but if I needed to and like a mob is out there shooting at me I can like use a bow and stuff to get it and if I wanted to go out voila it opens and it even closes this up for me just like that so we're gonna leave them down for now but now what we're going to do is i'm just going to build a little house it's nothing too amazing because you'll see why later on but i'm going to build a little house surrounding this little switch here because the switch is going to be inside of the house and then that's when i'm going to start building the outside and some like defense ideas to help me in case an attack comes or something like that So I've designed the house now, as you can see I did a little time lapse just before this clip and I'm just going to show you the inside because I didn't show the inside when I did the time lapse. So as you can see it's got smokers, um, blast furnaces, furnaces here, it's got a brewing stand, an anvil, crafting table, basically everything you need and then here's the little button obviously, then you come up here and obviously I didn't want to use all the space inside of the safe house to build a huge house so I tried to do it as little as possible so I've got a bed here some chests for storage my diamond armor uh, just put some shears here don't know why <laughs> and then some things in here that I could obviously I just put them in here just to show what it looked like if I had anything important on me so that's that and then that's just the house I think I put everything in here that I need and then we're gonna come out here and this is where we're gonna build the pens 
So obviously there's not a lot of room and you have to watch like how I'm going to do it because if I do a pen here and just do it like this and don't do the back wall then obviously when this wall goes down they're all going to escape which would not be amazing so we're going to do it like this. So it's going to go all the way around and I have to try and do it as little as possible for each pen so I can still have a lot of room so that's going to be the chicken pen and then here we're going to have the sheep pen like that then we're going to have the cow pen and I don't really need pigs so we're not going to have pigs and then that is it there then here is going to be the mine so gonna get some stairs oh there's already a mine down here so once I've done a little bit of designing of the mine and it's gone a little bit deeper than this so I'm just currently doing a little farming area that I'm gonna need because obviously if I never leave in this place I'm gonna need a lot of veg and like wheat and stuff like that to help me survive so just getting some carrots here obviously carrots are very good for food what else do i need i've got seeds we think that's all i'm gonna need oh and i need an infinite water source which i am gonna do now uh, it doesn't really need to be anything special, it just needs to be a 2x2, two two. like that. And I think guys, I actually have everything sorted. So this is the safe house that I built, so then I would never have to leave. We have one of each main tree that I use anyway. Some crops here, obviously that horse won't be there. We've got animals in here, we've got a mine down this part and yeah we can go wherever we want in the mine. This little area we have an enchantment area and an ever portal. Then if you come back out of the mine we have the house, infinite water source there. I never did need to leave for any reason. We can that little button and we are free to leave so right now guys i'm just currently doing like a little protection bridge around the house so i'm just oh, didn't see that so i'm just doing a free out all the way across and i'm just gonna have like a little path so i can get in and out if i need to but have it so it's still safe for me if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to do this all the way around and start placing the lava. I've already done quite a bit. Um, obviously I don't want it to go in the mine. So I have to just do this. Yeah, and then just place it all like this. But obviously I don't want it on the top one because they can swim out. So if they was like this, they can't get out like that. So once we've done this, then we're going to do little towers around the edge to make it so like the skeleton. I might have some skeletons in it, you know, so they'll shoot at anything that's nearby.
And I think we have finally completed the safe house. So this is what it's looking like. We have a lot of different defense mechanisms that are going to help us stay safe and from letting people to come into my house and from keeping mobs out. So as you can see, we have four towers on each corner, full of skeletons in there. So if anything, like any people try and come, they are going to get hit by a lot of skeletons. We have this lava full all the way around, so they can't get in apart from this part here, but at least it's only one way in apart from instead of four. And then we have all these little bushes here. So if you go in here, you obviously get hurt. I am in creative, so that's why it's not doing that. Then we have these little wither roses. So you have to be careful when you're coming down this path because you'll get a wither enchantment on you. And then once you're in, well, if you do get in, which are very unlikely, we have these little walls that come up and down. So I can go out if I wanted to. But if I wanted to stay inside, which I probably most likely will, we can have it closed. Then we have all of the trees that we could that we could possibly need to build anything, which I don't think we do, because we have our house here. We have some crops here in case we need to breed animals or get food. We have a lot of animals here, again for food and wool. We have a water source that's never going to run out. A mine down here, which we have the enchantment table, and we have the never portal with an ender chest there and we have the mine down here so i think we have thought of everything that we're possibly going to need for a safe house let me know in the comments guys if you think i've forgotten something that might help with something that i need to live in here forever or if i've forgotten something or if you think you could do a better job just let me know in the comments or if you think you have any tips that could make this world better then let me know because i am very very interesting to see what you guys think of my safe house and if you can make a better one so i think we've done a very good job and maybe in another video i could try it out of doing 100 days in this safe house and see if it would work so guys that is the end of my video i really hope you enjoyed it make sure to follow me on discord because that's where you get all the updates on whether i am streaming or doing a video that day Make sure to follow my Twitch, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter because I do daily updates on all of them too. And I'll leave them all in the description down below for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!